Hello, my friends. It's me, your friend Hubert Anayo Anyoke. I'm here again to thank all of you, my friends, that are helping me in this channel by subscribing to my channel, by sharing my message to all platforms, by telling your friends about this channel, how we are doing well in the life of our youth. God Almighty will bless you for me. And I'm thanking all of you that are joining us newly in this channel. Don't forget to share our message to your friends, to all platforms. God Almighty will bless you for me in the name of Jesus. Today we are on our business to educate all our youth, the united ones, those that I think they cannot make it, those that think that all is all is vanity, all, all, all have gone. Nothing have gone, you are on the track. Listen to us and put into practice. God Almighty, we put my in your face, in the face of everyone. Now, today, what you have today is about elder and the youth. That what to talk about this. Because many of our youth we don't know what we don't we are open mouth, we are saying something. We don't know that we are contradicting ourselves, we are even causing ourselves. Because when someone says something, it not even go to the real meaning of what he's saying. He keep on saying because of that he's saying. Many of us are a certain elders, a certain prophet, pastor, bishop, a certain reverend fathers, a certain those that are on the office, those that are elected. And we don't know that we are a certain ourselves by doing such things. Now, it has escalated that everyone have lost control. Nobody have regard for anyone anymore. And now we, we deviate from the right thing we're supposed to do. Now many of us will live to work for ourselves. We need to do our writing. Hoping that when we sort air that those, those sitting people, see those that sit in the office, we are doing right. We are making everything worse. Those that are in effort, we are the ones that vote them. We are the ones that elect them. They do not elect themselves. We are the ones that elect them. Out of our greediness or out of our callousness, we vote them. So now, when we are insulting them, we are insulting ourselves. That's what I want everyone to understand. So when we understand all these things have been telling us one after the other, then all of us will sit where nobody can bribe you. Nobody can give you pain for you to put him in office. When all of us understand that when you elect someone, you vote for someone, you give that person right to rule you. So when you when you vote for someone that is not the right candidate, what are you saying? You want evil in your side. So anything he did to you, you have to take it. Till the tunnel finished. Now, many of us forget that elders are those that, uh, that have the right to direct us, to tell us things to, hap to be happening. And now we keep on insulting them. Instead of supporting them, directing them, correcting them in the right manner. Now, before I go further to, to elaborate on this matter, let me let us know what is elder. So that we know that you that are insulting somebody you think is an elder, you are elder too. And when you insult those ones that are on the office, by the time you reach your own, another person will insult you, which means everybody must be receiving that insult. So let us sit where and know that whenever you are throwing, you that are living in a grass house and you are throwing a stone, what, am, what are you thinking? You are endangering yourself. Now let me t tell us about elders. Elders is one or more out of a group of associated people of a greater age. People who are older than one. A leader or senior figure in a tribe or other groups. For example, a council of village elders. Another one. An elder is any person who is older than you. So which, anybody that is older than someone is an elder. So let us understand that when you are insulting someone in a sitting office, you are insulting yourself because you you, so you older than somebody. So you, you are the deserve to be insulted which you may know from your sister who is only two years older than you, saying, listen to your elders. Example, the, a church elder is someone who helps run the church, not necessarily his elder's member. Elder can be used as an adjective 
For example, Ebe was the elder brother of Cain. So it doesn't mean that Ebe is the, 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 the grey head someone. But as well as someone is older than you, is is your elder. So when you are insulting people that you think that when you insult them, you are doing right thing. You are insulting yourself too because you order somebody. So you need to be insulted too. So let us sit well and understand this thing. When you understand these things, we keep we use our wisdom and educate our elders. Though you think that they are leading us, you give them instances what they have to do. Then all they will understand us and we work well, work as a team. When we try to insult them and try to make things. Difficult for them, we are causing big trouble to ourselves. And Ada, for example, let me say this before I go through the Bible. When any when Ada's man died, that day is they the bond is another elder. That is how it is. So who, whenever the one who is older than you died, you are not elder. So many of us are elder in our families, in our situation, institutions. So when you are there insulting someone. Another person have right to insult you too. So which means when you are insulting an elder or a bishop, a prophet, a pastor, you need another respect too because you order that someone, you senior somebody. So let us understand it. So when you are appointing one figure of somebody, the rest is putting on you. Let us sit well. Then let us see what Bible tells us about elder. How or how what do we who do we call an elder? If you go to act. In the Bible, Act 14.23, it says that, And when they had appointed elders for them in every church with prayer and fasting, they committed them to the Lord in whom they had believed. Hebrew 13, 17 says, Obey your leaders and submit to them, for they are keeping watch over your souls and those who will have to give an account let them do this with joy and not with groaning, for that will be of no advantage to you. Let us understand this. Thing. So that's why I want everyone to just understand me. This channel, we don't insult nobody. Only we will try to show all things that we, we don't know the meaning, or things that we forgot to know that by doing that thing, we are harming ourselves. When someone said that, I will make this this... Government on governing. I will make this council not to rule well. You are endangering yourself too because when you are doing something, you are creating avenue for another person to insult you too. But when you are busy insulting a sitting government or insult an elected someone, you are insulting yourself and you are making things worse. Instead of you to bring an idea, suggestions, then help them work together for the betterment of everybody. You are doing something wrong. Now, all of us are busy finding a way to pull down those that we elected by ourselves, either by carelessness or by willingly. Because before someone sit on the office legally, there are people that voted that person. And what happens? Many of us will vote because we, they give us peanuts. Or some say we cannot vote. When you do not vote, then the rest will vote for who they want. And when that person is in the office, what happened? Trouble is everywhere. Then let everyone understand this thing. When somebody is paying you for you to put him in office and you agree that thing, what do you agree? You agree violent. You agree to be humiliated, to be destroyed. And that's what we're facing right now. Let every that are busy insulting elders, insulting sitting government, insulting prophet and pastor, insulting people that are being elected for them to help us, they are causing harm to everybody. My dear, you let us eat well. When you destroy your house, you will live outside. Now we are busy destroying our property. Then after everything, we still use our money to build all those things we are destroying. It doesn't, it doesn't give us harm. If you believe you are wise, you are intelligent, you can lead, why not match with them with humbleness and let us sit together and plan how to build ourselves in a good manner. Everything needs to sit well. Let us understand. When someone died, he have died. That person cannot come back anymore. And now, now we are causing trouble and confusion. Who is suffering those? We are the youth. 
we are losing our men. Now, men everywhere is now uncontrollable, but we have still have time. Let us sit well and discuss. Let us mind with our elders, mind with our leaders, and we bring peace to ourselves. Then we have a good atmosphere. I thank you, everyone that are hearing me, that I keep on hearing me. God Almighty will bless all of us. We have to fix our brain, fix ourselves for good to be in our land. Thank you, everybody. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Share to your friends. Let us work with that and share our ideas and make our place to be well for everybody. Thank you and be blessed.